It's instinctual to give a beautiful plate a hearty sniff when it arrives on your table and soak in the aromas that contribute to flavor. But your nose doesn't stop working when food enters the mouth. Much like our tongue has receptors for the five tastes, our nose has receptors for the molecules that make up aromas. The receptors in a normally functioning nose send signals to our brain that are so accurate, we can easily distinguish between aroma molecules that differ by only one carbon atom. It's this specificity that allows us to differentiate variations on an aromatic theme, like the difference between fresh and spoiled milk. But despite what your brain might lead you to believe, smell doesn't stop when something enters your mouth. You can also smell food while it's inside your mouth. This is called retronasal olfaction, and it's a key player in the orchestra that is our flavor experience. Basically, once food is in your mouth, aroma molecules drift up the retronasal passage near the back of your throat, where they are treated the same as smells that came through the nostrils. The act of moving food around inside the mouth is what unlocks even more of these compounds and sends them up the retronasal passage. So many gears are turning in the mouth when we eat, salivating, chewing, and swallowing, plus the five tastes on the tongue. Our brain tricks us into thinking food aromas captured through retronasal olfaction come from the mouth too. But it's the combination of all those separate signals, from the mouth and nose, in the brain, that creates a fully unified flavor experience.